thanks so much for watching Living Local. Today is a very, very special day because we are at Brook Green Gardens at the Wall Low Country Center, and I'm sure that you all recognize this man right here. So this is Ron Days. He's here with us today to talk all about Gullah Geechee history, but you know him from a very popular Nick Jr. Uh, show, Gullah Gullah Island, right? So real quick, tell us a little bit about Gullah Gullah Island. What was that like being on that show? <laughs> Uh, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, the show was uh, in production from 1993 to 1999, uh, four years, um, and it was a very fun experience, and it had international broadcast. Yeah. And even to this day, uh, we get responses from persons young and old who watched or who are now watching reruns with their children. Um, before the show came into existence, um, I had been doing writings as well as performances about what was known as Sea Island uh, culture and heritage. I'm a native of St. Helena Island, which is down in Beaufort County, South Carolina. And Sea Island history and heritage was something that we took pride in. Um, the words Gullah at that time, the Gullah was used by historians and anthropologists. Uh, Geechee was a word that was used uh, generally uh, to, it was a class for embarrassment. No one wanted really? to be identified by either one of those words. It just reminds you of low intelligence or you were from some area uh, that was far removed, rural, that no one wanted to live in. Mm -hmm. But we were Sea Islanders. Mm -hmm. But Sea Islanders were in fact Gullah Geechee people. Right. And during uh, the, uh, in 2006, the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor, a federal and national heritage area, was established. And I served as one of the chairmen of the Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Corridor Commission. That culture spans all the way from Wilmington, North Carolina, down to the coastline, through oh. South Carolina and Georgia, you see it right all here, the right? way down to St. Augustine, Florida. And Gullah Geechee people are descendants from West Africans, primarily African, West Africans from the Rice Coast, those six countries that were brought to this area for the production of cash crops, primarily rice, because of their skills and knowledge in wow. rice production. And with this transferal of cultures uh, and heritages, Gullah Geechee uh, is a culture of West African heritage in the beliefs, in the language, in the art, and in the music. I love that. Are we going to get a taste of some music today? <laughs> <laughs> Spring it on you. <laughs> we'll give you some time to work right. on <laughs> Now, the language of Gullah Geechee people uh, has roots in West African languages, combined with old English words, but many words from West African languages and dialects. On the show Gullah Gullah Island, there was a family pet. What was the name of the family pet? Do you remember? Wait, I know it was a frog. Yes, it was large. <laughs> she was yellow. What was the name? I don't know. Binya, Binya, Binya. <laughs> Binya is a Gullah Geechee expression. Okay. Do you know what a Binya is? No. Well, I'm a Binya. And please, I'm not a I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a I'm not a Binya is a native of a Gullah Geechee community. Oh. Someone who was born here, who has been here. We are Binyas. Binyas. Now, um, I'm Binya. I was going to say. <laughs> did you relocate to this area? From, I did. You did? Well, yeah, I did you, would, you would never be called a yeah, Binya. Yeah, so I'm not a Binya. I'm what a Binya. Would, what would you be called? What do you think? Because you have come into this community. You're a Nanya or something. <laughs> A Kamya. I was like, Kamya. <laughs> there are Binyas and Kamyas. I like but it. But in this exhibit, Gullah Geechee Garden, uh, it's a permanent outdoor exhibit here at Brooklyn Gardens, and it's to raise awareness of this very significant culture of sure. the Low Country. Walk through the garden and sure, see what's over there? Sure. All right, let's go. 